More of the shipwreck. Where's the treasure? Where's the treasure? My fingers. Don't take my fingers. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Hey. Here you go, brother. Feeding the gold population. Here at Jamie's Rocket Soul. Did you enjoy that, bro? Yeah. Got nothing else for you, mate. Jamie's Rock and Soul would love to feed the seagull and gull population, but I just ain't got enough sausage rolls, bro. So I'm gonna have to bid you farewell. Here in Blackpool on high tide, here on a Wednesday afternoon, from me and my new mate, Jerry the Gull. Hey, right, Jerry, say hello, subscribers. <laughs> Beautiful angle of the tower there, this time. Right from the front, the Sky Racer's on the go. And the tide's nearly in. It's a 7.6 metre tide today, so don't worry, I'm not going to get washed away. But hey, if like me, you just like to watch the beautiful ocean, we're going to have a little walk along here. And you can see what you're missing, guys and gals. Well, I hope you had a good New Year, subscribers. It's now 2024. Good health, big cheers, yay, and all of that. And I've just come for a little wander. It's a wet Wednesday afternoon, as it always is, right here in uh, sunny Blackpool. Maybe we should have a new song for Blackpool, uh, I'm singing in the rain or something. That should be our anthem. But um, I haven't got long left walking down here because the Coast Guard will pull us off at high tide time. But I'm going to let you see high tide right here in the North Irish Sea. Here on a not windy but wet Blackpool. So therapeutic, Jamie's rock and soul. Maybe I should make a new playlist called uh, ASMR. <laughs> So here we are, we're just coming from uh, north to central Blackpool. You can see central in the distance. Um, you're not going to see Ireland or the Isle of Man today, unfortunately. It's a bit cloudy, but... Who needs to go to San Lucia waterfalls? <laughs> well, you can walk down a waterfall right here in Blackpool. Look. look at all the water coming off the comedy carpet, Jamie's Rock and Soul. Oh, it's making me need the toilet. I am 50, you know. Didn't realise uh, I'd have to push when I got to 50. One last look. Here we go. High tide, right here in Blackpool, between North Pier and Central. Always do love watching these waves crashing. They are the brave men and women who volunteer and risk their lives every day to go and save people caught in trouble out there. It is and will always remain my favourite charity and I will always promote the RNLI because of the brilliant, brilliant service they do right here in Blackpool. The tide does wash some crazy stuff in. Look at this. <laughs> Thought it was a giant eel at first. Let's build a boat. Where's Robinson Crusoe? Now I know there's a Twinkie in here somewhere. Not the best place to build your nest, mate. Seeing nature live here at Jamie's Rock and Soul. More of the shipwreck. Where's the treasure? Where's the treasure? Here's a little look under a central pier, Jamie's Rock and Soul. There's a different perspective on the ocean for you. Here in Blackpool, hope you're enjoying the sight on this rainy day. Used to seeing videos with thousands of people, people go around in the big wheel. They've taken all the cars off now, look. They have to be repaired for the winter. We'll have to see any more action from the pier for at least another 
two months now. See the weather's getting a little bit choppier now. Not keeping people in luck. Looking so relaxing about it all. One last look, Jamie's Rock and Soul, at the beautiful ocean. And then we're going uh, council cuisine hunting at Home Bargains. I've got to get a few bits. And Home Bargains is over there. New attraction, Jamie's Rock and Soul for 2024. Dare you ride the tram water slide. Here goes. Okay. Maybe they need to work on the excitement factor. A little bit. Look at that. Everywhere's flooding here in Blackpool. Oh, lovely. We can now see home bargains due to the fact that an entire building has disappeared on Lytham Road. It was here last time I walked down. Here we are at home bargains. Jamie's Rock and Soul goes. Council cuisine shoplifting. But not with that guy in charge. Oh no, he's not even real. It's so beautiful in the mist, look, we can just see it like a beacon in the distance. Ah. Okay, then, Jamie's Rock and Salt. We have the goodies for Council Cuisine today. I'm keeping it simple. I'm going to make a nice bacon and cheese omelette. Two pounds for the cheese, one pound 89 for 10 eggs. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I already have the bacon, so. Council Cuisine meal for less than five pounds today, but not before. I've gone and got myself a nice free drink from McDonald's. Oh yeah, Council Cuisine at its best. Now all the season when I was traveling around doing weddings and parties and nightclubs and pubs, uh, I'd call in for a coffee at the end of the shifts if you watch the episodes, and I've accumulated quite a lot of points. Enough to keep me going in free Coca-Cola until about March. So let's go and get my free drink. Ah, cheapness. I can smell it. It is nicer when it's free. <laughs> my age. So then subscribers, tell me in the comments how many of how many of you have joined the gym as part of your new year's resolution. Jamie's Rock and Soul is about to uh, re-induct myself to my swimming, which I love. So you're going to see some more videos uh, of me swimming soon. Maybe not with the phone in the pool, but hey, you get the idea. I had to laugh in an earlier vlog about one lady's comment. I think she's called Julie. Taste the cheapness. Oh, it may be cold. I may be wet again, but nothing beats a freebie, Jamie's Rock and Soul. I'll see you back at the house for a delicious omelette. And of course, at Council Cuisine, it's always tasty. It's always cheap. Here for you. Rock and Soul, we may have this uh, cinema that's closed down and the new bingo wall and a Taco Bell, but just over there, when I first moved here, was the Tangerine Club and the Greyhound Track. And they were the places to go. And the reason I'm showing you this, this was another place that used to be the heart and soul of Clubland. And it was called Central Club. And it was a busy, busy, busy place. But it's now been derelict for about 15 years now. And the size of the building, you could fit a train station in it, look. Back in the old days of the Central Club. I'll put a few photos on there after this little clip. So you can see how vibrant and how lively it used to be. There used to be entertainment up there seven nights a week. The place used to get absolutely packed solid. How sad. The only thing it lends itself to now is graffiti. All the windows are smashed. Such a big building doing nothing. Hit like, subscribe, and join me on the next video for Council Cuisine Omelettes. Bye.